gross domestic product. Now, GDP refers to the total value of all goods and services produced within a country within a given period. Now, generally speaking, GDP is a measure of production in a country. If GDP is going up, production is going up and the country is experiencing economic growth. However, GDP is a lagging indicator and is released quarterly. Now, what do I mean by lagging indicator? A lagging indicator reflects the economy's historical performance and changes to these are only identifiable after an economic trend or pattern has already been established. Okay, so the GDP is a lagging indicator while leading indicators often change prior to large economic adjustments and as such can be used to predict future trends. Examples of leading indicators are retail sales, market PMI, because these change prior to large economic adjustments, while examples of lagging indicators are GDP and consumer price index, the CPI. Okay, these change after a general trend in the market. Now, rising GDP is a positive sign for an economy. And this is because rising GDP signals growth. And as the economy grows, there is increased inflation. Remember, the main tool used by central banks to control inflation is raising interest rate. So whenever there is increased inflation, this is good for a country's currency because as a result of this, the central bank will need to increase interest rates. Okay? And central banks need to increase interest rates because rising inflation can stop the growth in GDP. And this is because if prices are rising too rapidly, the cost of goods and services may start to exceed demand. And whenever goods and services start to exceed demand, this will result in excess inventory and excess inventory will lead to losses, which will result in producers cutting costs, which will result in loss of jobs, which will eventually result in a decrease in retail sales, which will eventually lead to decrease in GDP and decrease in GDP will eventually lead to the central bank decrease in interest rates. So everything is connected, which is why it's important to understand how these fundamental announcements correlate. So you can see how the result of these indicators affect the central bank and interest rates and remember higher interest rates make money more expensive to borrow and thereby reduce spending by those producing goods and services okay lowering interest rates have the opposite effect we will take a closer look at this when we get to interest rates but remember the general concept higher interest rates make money more expensive while lower interest rates make money cheaper and hence encourages borrowing and spending.